Hello, 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 hello. Uh, check. One, two, three. What am I hearing? I'm hearing feedback somewhere. Is that me? Yes, it was me. All right. Hello, hello, and welcome back. Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Welcome back to more Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts Legacy. We've been playing this game so much, you would think I would have the Harry Potter name out of my head, but it, it's not. I almost said welcome back to Harry Potter. But thankfully, my brain was a little faster today. Because, I mean, you can't help but think Harry Potter, right? I mean, it's the wizarding world, right? And there's other stuff that's been happening in it, but it always just reminds you of Harry Potter, right? You can't, you can't, can't be helped. Cannot be helped. Let's see here. Tyler, how goes it? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday, sir. Happy Tuesday. Did you beat it? I'm, I'm waiting for you to come back and be like, yeah, I beat it. Because I'm, I'm half expecting you to, like, just beat it in the middle of the night. You gotta be close. I feel like you, you gotta be close. Our Niffler. It looks like our Niffler. Is that one of our Nifflers? I can't, I can't ever be sure. I think our Irondale Pilferer is that color. Like a teal and blue for the, uh... For the Niffler. Alright. We haven't really been doing recaps the last couple streams. What did we do last game? We did lots and lots of, like, gathering and collecting. Um, I went around and got a bunch of vaults. We did some side quests. Um, a lot of spiders, man. I mean, we were commenting on it yesterday. And... Even Nightgazer ended up bringing it up at, at one point that, uh, yeah, there's just, there's tons and tons of spiders in this game. Spider-based missions, just spiders in general. It seemed like we keep fighting spiders at every turn. Because we, like, we did that one Tangled Web side quest. Oh, there we go. Wow, Tyler. I was spot on. Spot on! That is sad. I mean, you can restart it. I'm still undecided whether or not to restart as soon as I'm done playing. I'm enjoying it enough that I kind of want to go ahead and restart it as soon as I'm done playing. And do like an alternate playthrough with... Uh, not only because I like it when RPGs have like... It'll be a new experience in general other than picking like the jerk responses. I'm assuming it's not going to have an overall effect on the story like some RPGs. But... Uh, I mean, the fact that it's a different voice actor, you know, that changes the experience completely for me. Because we're going to play a girl. Yeah, we're going to be replaying it entirely. We're definitely going to pick a different voice actor. We're not just going to use the weird, you know, altered voice option that they have. We'll pick a girl character and she'll be our, she'll be our jerk, <laughs> evil wizard character. Um, aside from, like, the, all the side activities we did, we only got around to the one main quest, um, with Sebastian. And, basically, we learned more about, I mean, what is her name? Is Zelda? No, it's definitely not Zelda. <laughs> what is her name? Why, why am I always blanking on these names? Most of the time, they're, like, unconventional names. Is it is? I can't. No, that's not it. <laughs> uh... <sighs> it's it can't be a Zelda. Well, that would be a weird name, right? 
Isabella? <laughs> oh, Isadora. What, what were you saying is not? Isabella is a normal name. Isadora? It might not be common, but I could picture that being like a regular name, Isadora. That's my problem with a lot of the names, typically from these universes, is that they're not common names. And so I have trouble remembering them. There's a few people in history named Isadora. It is not common, though. Definitely not common. There's also a makeup company called Isadora. There's an Isadora antique jewelry company. Excellent. So it's definitely more common than other names in here. It's more common than, like, Lodgok. <laughs> Does anybody know any Lodgox? Lodgox is our next uh, main quest. Lodgox is attempting to infiltrate the coastal mine alone. Anyway, why were we talking about that? Yeah. Isadora, we, we stumbled upon where she... She, like, hung out. Came across some of her pages... She's clearly leaving a purposeful breadcrumb trail for, essentially, us, our character, and our ability to see ancient magic. And through her memories, unfortunately, Sebastian saw the fact that she's able, she was able to, in quote, remove people's pain. And so now he's thinking that that's something he can do for his sister. And, you know... He's going to want our character to do it. Assuming that we are the only one who can do it, he's going to want our character to do it, no doubt. No doubt that's where it's leading, so that's kind of where we left off. We saw, we basically saw Isadora's own memory, right? Let me see here. So that's something we're going to have to deal with. I'm assuming, basically, that it's probably going to come down to that. Uh, let's see. I don't know. I mean, the choices seem pretty straightforward. It's either, you know, you're on his side or you're not on his side completely with a lot of stuff. And it typically is that... It's it, The game paints a moral picture surrounding Sebastian where the stuff that he's wanting to do is something where he has good intentions, but he's going about it the wrong way. That's, that's definitely Sebastian's character. So if you side with him, you are essentially also siding with the whole good intentions, maybe not the best course of action. If you go against him, that's technically probably the, the better choice to make even if it's technically a harder one how do we get out of here is this the exit over here would you please meet with me in the great hall i have come upon a difficult time and i need a friend are you familiar with the hamlet of irondale it's south of the castle i think the cave that doran wanted us to find is near there i am familiar with irondale that's where we got our niffler Seriously, where where's the door? <laughs> is this the door? It is the door. Okay, it says find the entrance to the mine, but we're not gonna go. If we got all these pop ups going on, some side quests, so we're probably gonna try to knock out some side quests before we move on with a uh, Lodgok here. All right, well, let's jump right into it. Welcome back, happy Tuesday! Don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet already. Very much appreciated. Uh, hit that bell, hit the subscribe button, all the good things. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go. But which one should we do first? Let's see. Okay, Natty wants to be in the Great Hall. Received an owl from Natty requesting that I speak with her. Haven't heard much from her in the way of next steps for taking down Harlow. She wants to meet. 
And then Poppy sent an owl saying that she wants to meet near Irondale at a cave south of Hogwarts. We might hold off on Poppy. We might jump over and talk to her. Again, Poppy's one is obvious. It actually has a suggested level. That means we're going to be getting into some business. Um, Natty, on the other hand, when we first last did hers, it went against my theory that if it shows a level suggestion, then it might mean just a conversation. While it started out as just a conversation for her, we did end up fighting some dark wizards because she ended up getting kidnapped in the middle of the freaking quest. We got a few others here. Re While exploring Poid Seer Castle on the southern coast, I know it's an important looking rolled parchment resting on the table within the castle grounds. Is that way down south? And then, yeah, we have a side quest in Hogsmeade, too. Let's go ahead and just do Natty. Um, since we're here at the school, we'll go ahead and do Natty's next. Oh, shoot, we got stuff to sell. And for all I know, she's she just wants to talk. She might be like, hey, I've got an idea, but let me get back to you on it. I'll... I'll hit you up with an owl post. You never know. So yeah, we still have not found the final cupboard. The cabinet with the key and the token. There is one we still haven't found. I don't know if that's going to pop up like in a final quest area or if there's somewhere we haven't been yet in the school. Well, I found all mine and you're farther than I am. Okay, so how did I... There's one that I must have just cruised on by. and yep, there was one in a clock tower. That was one of the last ones I found. I've been up in the clock tower, so I would have thought I found it. It's at the bottom of the clock tower? The bottom of the clock tower is like the entrance of the bloody building. <laughs> There's one over there. We could go look. Should we go search for that last one? Because why do I feel like whatever is in that stupid chest, we're not going to care about it anymore at this point? We're so far into the game. <laughs> no, no, I mean, we just need to find the last one. So you... You found one in the clock tower. I think, I think he was here. I think. I don't know. You think I'm going to care? Where's the clock tower at? This clock tower is over here? Yeah, it is. Let's go over there. It is true that there is sections. I mean, you can even see over here that there are missing three pages, four collection chests, and one demiguy statue. We just have not been over on this side of the school very often. So we could go out of our way to try to go to some certain areas that we haven't been to. It looks like there's something on the top of this roof in the middle that there that we can explore. There's a door connecting to it. But I know I've never been up there. And look, there's actually a flu flame in the grand staircase that... Oh, no, false alarm. It's the one-eyed witch passage. I was like, shoot, man, we, we've even missed a flu flame. It's not the case. All right, let's go over here. You know what? Let's... Let's go to this. Let's go across the bridge. Well, how many hours did you clock, Tyler? I mean, were you as thorough as I've been? Because you said you were surprised it wasn't longer, but we're only on part 17. And we average maybe four hours. Do three to five hours per stream. So if we look at our saves, we've got to be around the 60 hour mark. So we're not anywhere near the amount of hours that we put in something like uh, what do you call it? Horizon. 
like Horizon Forbidden West, we were we did over 100 hours. But I'm very, very thorough. I take my time in games like this. Let's see. We're at the 67 hour mark. 67 hours. So it's getting up there. Okay, that's pretty good. That's good. For a first time RPG? I, you can expect it to be longer. So that's like Horizon Zero Dawn hours. Oh, here's a locked door at the bottom of the clock tower. <laughs> Is this it, baby? Oh, look, more. there's a moth painting in here, too. Lumos. See, that's the problem, man. There hasn't... Well, I know this is not it. This is a moth painting. A moth frame. But, yeah, the, the problem with this is that I just... We haven't had a reason to come over here. There's, like, been no reason to come back over to this area. So I would have had to, like, purposely gone out of my way to come over here. This looks like it's in the middle. Where is this? Is this outside? Out front? Is this out here? The problem is, is that it looks grassy, but it's got to be out here somewhere. It seemed like it was out in the middle here. But maybe not. Look at this freaking snowman. And we didn't explore enough during the fall season, too. We should have explored the school more. Look at this freaking snowman. Ah! What? The snowman fights you! Oh, he tried to... That's right. What about from behind? Oh, he's turning around. Who made this magic snowman? Alright, this is... Lumos. Where's this bloody moth at? It looked like it was in the courtyard. Or out in the middle, I mean. But... I would have figured I would have picked it up, even by accident. I'm not spotting it. Where are you, moth? Well, you're somewhere around here. Bloody hell. Let's go look at it again. Okay, no, I was wrong. It's inside. And it's on the inside that we didn't actually look. Is that the case? Why am I not spotting it? Where is it? Where are you, moth? Oh, it's all the way at the end. Got it. You're mine. Give me that page. See, and I've even known we needed to be coming back over here. I just, I don't know. I would always keep forgetting it. Basically, if it wasn't, like, conveniently on the way. There's two more field guide pages, and then four collection chests. And yeah, there's this door that we never went through. How do you open this door? And why does it pretend like it's opening for Rebellion. me? did it again. What do I need to like slow it or something? It's got a unicorn on it. What does that mean? Arrest Lumos. 
trying to think of what spells make sense with this. Yeah, why does it keep teasing me? You know what's going on with this door, babies? This teasing door? It's just got a collection chest inside, so it's not what we're after, but I do want to get that collection chest at some point. If it's not a unicorn, then it's like a chess piece. I could lose a freaking hand. And there's actually a collection chest above us, too. So we do need to go back up. We need to go up there. Uh, it looks like one of those doors we never... We never got one of them. Anything Revenue. down here? There's another locked door down here. Alohomora. Where is that door? It's above us. Revelio. Hey, there is that's it, babies. There's the key. <laughs> Where'd you go? No! It went down? Yep. Boom! Where is it? Where'd it go? I went too far down? Yeah. That doesn't even feel possible. There's a middle platform? I didn't see any middle platforms. There's no middle platform. Oh, did it go this way? This goes up! But you think the key went up? Alright, hold on. Let's just go ahead and do this while I'm thinking about it. Because we do have this other door up here. Revelio. Oh, there it is. So you were right about the staircase. Just not the direction. I'm gonna go return this bloody thing. So yeah, basically, from the moment that we got our ability to unlock locks, did we just never come back here? Oh look! This is another one. Revelio. And this, so this is not one of the doors I thought it was. So we've got two doors that are teasing us. Can you go and open them? I tried that. It's got to be related to these symbols. They both have two different symbols on them. This is like a serpent with two heads. And the one down below is like a unicorn. don't understand these teasing doors. Is that another door that's like that right there? Or is that actually a door that I can unlock? Oh, here, look. We have to slow the clock down. That's gotta be it. Look. Anytime the clock is passing by one of their symbols, that's gotta be when it's opening. So I bet if we slow the clock down, it'll uh, it'll open the doors. Now hold on a second. Where's the uh, where's this door? Where's this door? Oh wait. So is there four doors like this? Where's the fourth? We got three. And this one is the owl. Owl's right there. Let's see. Arresto momentum. We did it. Let me in. Oh, hello. Come on, let me open you. Don't shut on me. Revenue. Okay, well that was the only thing in here. Let's go up and get that other door. 
It makes me wonder if there's one more door above. If there's a door per symbol. This door is the serpent's heads. Arrest the momentum. Another of the collection chests. So we're getting at least two collections chests out of here. Ah. Uh. And I will look. Thank you, my love. Always a good idea. Be like Tyler. Be like Cleo. Don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet already. Very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, here's the last door. There is... Wait, so you were right. You were right. There was a mid-floor. I think these are the original stairs, aren't they? It's a random door right here. Okay, so let's stop this one. I don't know what that symbol is. What's that symbol supposed to be, eh? Can I hit this through this wall? Arrest I don't think so. So we're gonna have to hit it and then run back down, I'm assuming. Run! Thank you, Tyler! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Wait, what doors have we not Rebellion. done? I think the only door we have left to do is the is the one on the bottom. I, I kind of want to come up here, though, and just to double-check, make sure I didn't miss anything up here. It's not looking like it, though. I don't see anything. All right, let's go back to the bottom. Let's head back down. Open that last door. Is that going to be all the collection chests? Because we were missing four. If there's And there's been a collection chest in every single location, I think. Maybe this was a different staircase. It was a different staircase. Um, well, <laughs> I'm assuming you're not alone in that, Tyler. I think both Cleo and Nightgazer <laughs> did the same thing. I mean, Cleo probably will now. Cleo hasn't beaten the game entirely yet. So when she goes back, she probably will go around the school and get some of them. Alright, so yeah, is that all the collections? The only thing we're missing in this section is the, um... Ah, Zoe! Did you do what I think you did? No. Give it to Mama. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, um... The doors... The symbols going around the door are 0 through 9. So all you have to do is count them. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. From the left. Around to the right. That's what they mean. So once you know the key, it just... It just takes a little... Just takes doing a little math in your head to open them up. There's another chest right here that we didn't get. Oh, it's another. Is this another lock? Oh, it's just open. How did we never grab this? Give me that fedora. Oh, yeah, and geez, here's this. Let's see if the demiguys is in here. I keep, I kept talking about this, this painting and remembering that this had one of these above it. What the hell, it closed. Let me in. What the hell happened? It didn't let, I didn't go in fast enough. Oh, I think it's bugging out, man. Ah, there we go. Any demiguys? Demiguys? What's this letter? Violet, if you get here before me, do us a favor and procure some more mead, would you? I believe one of the fellows hanging in the third floor corridor has another frame somewhere with a nice supply. Oh, look. Another moth. How many of these moth frames are there? Lumos. Uh, it's outside of a lady's restroom. I think that's the lady's restroom. Oh, shoot. We never went in there either. That's uh the women's restroom that... Uh, the annoying ghost likes to hide in. Isn't Sebastian Sparrow's family from Sparrow? Where is the moth, though? Where is the moth? This is it. I don't see the moth anywhere. Is it in the bathroom? Let's find out. Oh, this is a men's restroom. Did I look at that wrong? I mean, I need to find the ladies' restroom. Unless it's in here. Where is he? Because I was under the impression that he... Uh... Oh, there's the moth. Okay, it must be outside the ladies' restroom. All the stalls. Hello, demiguys! My you now, demiguys. sneaky sneaky. I can't grab it, though. This is crazy. I did. Normally, he normally says that when it's night. Let's see, what time is it right now? Not quite night. Assuming that it's the same as the astronomy table, we'd have to wait until 8 p.m. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait, wait. We're not gonna wait in game time until 8 p.m. That's crazy. Where's the ladies' restroom? Oh, it's right here. So, yeah, it's inside the ladies' restroom, then. Yep, there it is. Lumos. Did we check these stalls? We have to have come in here before. Anything interesting in these stalls? <laughs> Super embarrassing if they actually had students going to the bathroom. <laughs> Some of these, you just burst into the stall. <laughs> What's going on in here? <laughs> you just start screaming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, no students ever go into the bathrooms. These bathrooms are sweet, though. Beautification room. Yeah, time of day is a mod. If you're ever curious about any of my mods, they're down in the description, Tyler. That's a quick way to answer the question. I think I added that to the mod list. Portrait.
So where are we right now? This can't be the entry area. It is. Oh yeah, okay, so we still have one more collection chest and one more field guide page somewhere around here. <laughs> Tyler, why didn't you say anything? <laughs> Cleo and I were just talking about that. We were like, nobody mentioned it. So I guess nobody cares. We didn't find out that the the chat pop-up wasn't working yesterday until like I was going back and doing the chapter list. And I was like, huh, there's no chat in the actual stream. I don't know why it happened. It must have been a bug with like YouTube or something. Because I tested it earlier today and it was working fine. There was nothing different, nothing changed. It just was working. It wasn't working yesterday, it's working today. It's alright. But yeah, if you ever notice something like that in, in the future, definitely, definitely let us know. The only person we've ever really had mention like chat problems to us has been purple game or purple purple punch but that's because he watches on his tv so he can't read the chat unless it's popping up on the screen let's see here i don't know i kind of want to keep searching through here i kind of want to go to the mid holes too and try to find some of the other missing stuff we're missing one page in the middle section, two collection chests. That section's all done. That section's all done. One collection chest over in the library annex. And then we're missing collection chest in two pages. So we're almost done. We've got almost everything found in the school. We're super, super close to finding everything. There's MP. There is MP. MP, I mean, to be fair, Tyler, nobody said anything. Literally nobody. MP didn't say anything. Night Gazer didn't say anything. Foxy didn't say anything. Where Fox didn't say anything. Thomas didn't say anything. Nobody said anything, Tyler. You may have been the only one who did actually notice, though. Thank you, Tyler. I appreciate it. <laughs> it's one of those things where I'm probably just going to now that that happened, I'm probably just going to be double checking it every single, at the start of every stream now. Now that it's in my mind. Man, where could it possibly be? One page, one collection chest. Where have we not looked? Although, I... wait, I say that. Revelio. Didn't I see a chest through the wall here a moment ago? Where did I see that at? Not sure what kind of look you call that. Who just talked? Was it one of these paintings? Something just talked to us. Um, no. Thomas said he just he just went and eh, I just moved on and I skipped it. He said he didn't need the upgrades, but I relayed the information, telling him like if he wants to, he could go back. And just fail the races. Just fail it like two or three times. And then the game should give you an option to skip them. And therefore, and by doing that, you can go ahead and get the broom upgrades. I don't know if he's going to go and do that. Rebellion. But that is an option. Alright, we must have got the chest that I was looking at. It just as Hogwarts. Hold on. If we go back here, is he going to say it? said it for a second but then it immediately disappeared i'm trying to keep an eye on because we mentioned that i, I would be nice if like i kind of wish that little pop-up down in the bottom left next to the map it stayed there as far as where you're located it does when you first enter so right now it says we're in gryffindor tower which is not well 
Yeah, it's not super helpful because Gryffindor Tower. I mean, where's Gryffindor Tower? Right? It so it's telling me that we're in what part of the school we're in, but I, I need something to tell me like when we're in the South Wing. Period. Always in the South Wing. Gryffindor Tower, apparently that's in the South Wing. I know that now. I just need to know when we're in the South Wing. At all times. Alright, we need to remove this main quest. It's bugging me to look at it. At some point here, we're going to meet up with Natty. It was a talking mirror? It actually said that? Let's see if it talks to us again. That's weird. Could we see ourselves better if we had... Like, the reflection's awful. But probably not wholly inaccurate, honestly, for the 1800s. When did we start getting clear mirrors in production? Because mirrors used to kind of be like this. Mirrors were, like, kind of passable to see yourself, do your hair, things like that. But mirrors weren't, like, completely nicely clear until more recently. I say recently, but you know what I mean. Within the last... Not recently, like in the last 50 years. Anybody want to go on a learning? Anybody want to go teach themselves something and look up when... When was a method made to make perfectly clear mirrors? Stop a moment and listen to our song. Above the map? Well, this isn't above the map. It's, it, yeah, see, it, it pops up down there in the bottom. Okay, well. If that's true, then there's no excuse for the mirrors to be this hazy. Unless these are just old mirrors and they're hanging on to them by tradition. It is talking. Look. <laughs> it's got a head up above. It's possible these could just be old mirrors. <laughs> or very, very dirty mirrors. But they if that's true, then modern mirrors definitely should have been around at the time. Did you sneeze, babies? I don't know, did I? I don't think so. I think you heard my spell, MP. I think he heard that and thought you sneezed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, it definitely needs to be replaced. But I am curious, like, if we turned ray tracing on, would it give us a slightly clear mirror? I don't want to try, because we got to restart the bloody game to turn ray tracing on. Lumos. Revelio. Is that what you heard, MP? Is this what you thought was Cleo sneezing? <laughs> no, it can't be 1998, Tyler. Now, if you said 1898, we would have to, we would, we would need MP and you to double check your dates and see who's more correct. According to MP, Modern Mirrors is 1835. Definitely not 1998, though. I, I we, we definitely had nice clear mirrors in the 80s and 90s. That at least. I, that's as far as I know. Maybe it's possible that all mirrors sucked in the 70s. But at least from what I know in the 80s and 90s, we had we had nice clear mirrors. <laughs> MP's, MP's changing his answer. He likes, the, like, he likes the idea that it was 1998. Clear mirrors are a very recent invention. Could you imagine? Simply marvelous. Look. I've never seen the headmaster so regal. Actually, I have come to think of it. His way, really, isn't it? Look, it's headless Scrubs Nick, Tyler. Indeed, regal, sir. He's talking you, to Scrope. Uh, wouldn't mind having a little sweep over mine, would you? Scrope may only carry out the requests of Scrope's master, sir. As Scrope is sure, sir, knows. 
Uh, yes, yes, of course, I'm familiar. It's just that there have been attempts over the years to dust my statue. But no one has ever cared enough to do the task properly. There's no way Wiki says that. <laughs> Scrub is There's most no way. sorry for Sir, that no one would care about Sir and leave him so very neglected. Yes, all right, no need to pile it on. Anything to do with the bloody Baron always looks impeccable. And Helena, and the fat friar. But me, I'm left dusty. Nearly dusty Nick. Oh, Sir Nicholas, nearly headless, and also nearly dusted, and never cared for, or... Yes, no need to dwell. Uh, Scrove, I'm certain the headmaster wouldn't... Scrove's mind. relatives have been beheaded by the Black family, sir. Are you saying that to annoy me? No oh, beheading servants. Yes, I see your point. Choose your <laughs> battles, I say. I shall be polished another day. Oh, oh no. Oh, dear. No. I don't know. These these mirrors from the 18th century look pretty good. It is. It's kind of weird to me that a ghost teaches class, but I don't know. Maybe that'd be good. Do you have to pay them? Okay, so the Industrial Revolution. This was what led to the silvered glass mirrors. Credited to German chemist Justus von Liebig. Liebig? Liebig? 1835. That's the date that... Um, MP found. I don't know if this is really describing it as a modern mirror, but I could. But silvered glass mirror definitely has the nice reflective quality. Let's see. Why is it so difficult for me to find later mirror later mirrors than this? <laughs> Okay, the dielectric mirror was invented in the 1930s. I don't know. I mean, could that be considered? It doesn't say modern mirrors as we know it. But you definitely could say that that led towards. Because it even says here, it led to the greater availability of affordable mirrors in mass production. His method, the silvered, the silvered glass mirror that he created. I'm trying to find where, what mirror Tyler found in 1998. I'm going to assume some kind of mirror was made in 1998. I can't find it though. Where did you find this, Tyler? I can't find it. You need to give us a link or something. I don't know. I need more information, more answers. <laughs> Why'd you look a perfect mirror? What the hell is a perfect mirror? Nobody said anything about a perfect mirror. Let's see. What is a perfect mirror? A perfect mirror is a mirror that reflects light and electromagnetic radiation in general perfectly and does not transmit or absorb it. A new type of dielectric perfect mirror was developed in 1998. So that isn't even when the perfect mirror was invented. I don't know, it's MIT, but yeah, I don't I don't I'm not sure what that is. 
but we just mean like a mirror. Like if you go to your bathroom and you look in your mirror, like that's a that's a modern mirror. It's completely, it's like completely perfectly reflected. And mirrors weren't always that way. Usually you would just have like a polished metal, you know, long time ago. And that worked well enough. That was a mirror for the time. But it's looking like the mirrors that we most commonly associate with today with perfect, like a perfect reflection, almost like you're looking through a window when you look at the mirror. That looks like that was perfected, you could say, in the 1930s, developed in the 1930s. So many different types of mirrors. Too many, if you ask me. Too many. Now I want to look at, find and look at one of these perfect mirrors that came out in the late 90s. Excellent joke, MP. Excellent joke. Too many mirrors. Too many. Rebellion. We do have a collections chest above us that I did not retrieve. Is this the chest that I could never figure out? Well, now I've lost sight of it. There's a collection chest right there, and that's got to be it. I think this is the same bloody chest that I could never figure out how to get to it. We were over here multiple times. It wasn't even a situation where we didn't couldn't we didn't technically have access to it. It's just I couldn't even figure out how to get near it. No, that's why I was saying like ray tracing. There's been methods, um, mirrors in the past you don't typically see in games because the way that you would need to create a mirror is effectively replicating the world in the supposed mirror, which is effectively your graphics card having to recreate the world twice in that little view window, which of course is very, very demanding it's why you typically won't see mirrors but ray tracing even though ray tracing is also super demanding ray tracing adds what is basically an easier method of doing that but of course ray tracing is still very demanding ray tracing adds general reflections to everything anything that's reflective or metallic water surfaces metallic walls metallic floors and or like glass like see there's glass on here right now there's no i don't have ray tracing on if i had ray tracing on this glass would probably not only reflect the world behind me it would reflect my character too and so yeah ray tracing is a method that allows you to do that now and that's why I was saying, like, if, if we turned ray tracing on, would would we actually get, like, better reflections in the bathroom mirrors? And it's possible. Or they might just have kept them dirty. Are there any mirrors in the bathrooms up here? I don't think I saw any. Any mirrors in here? Are these mirrors? Yep, these are mirrors. So you can see they have, like, a very simple reflection that pops up right here. And honestly, this looks okay. It basically looks like we have super dirty mirrors. Honestly, you're having me curious. I'm now genuinely curious. Let's let's turn ray tracing on full and see what is and isn't reflected. 
Like when we're playing like Spider-Man, if you're playing Spider-Man, ray tracing looks fantastic because you have all the city buildings throughout Spider-Man that will reflect the world and your character in them. And it looks really, really great. But again, even though ray tracing is a really cool newer technology for for uh, for video games and graphics, it's still a very demanding setting to try to use. So I typically don't. And honestly, th there's reflections in games without ray tracing on nowadays with, with newer engines like an Unreal Engine 5 with ray tracing off that they're still fantastic looking reflections and everything. Great lighting reflections, general lighting that makes everything looks nice. Makes everything look more realistic too. Like I said, even these simple character reflections and these dirty mirrors, it's fine. We don't need perfect reflections. And Spider-Man, even that, like, go look at Spider-Man. Um, the city buildings, even with ray tracing off, looks really, really nice. But yeah, now, now you got me curious. Let's turn ray tracing on max and let's see what it looks like. Tracing, where is it? Where is it? It's right here. On. Let's just turn everything on. Ultra. On, on, on. Apply settings. Please restart the game. This is why I haven't tested. <laughs> I haven't tested ray tracing very much on this game. Because I, you gotta restart the bloody thing every single time. So I'm like, I can't, I mean, I guess like when I'm not streaming, I could take the time to test ray tracing more, see if there's any ray tracing settings that we could leave on, but I'm kind of indifferent. The game looks pretty. The game looks nice, even without it, to me. Um, Steam. Takes a while for Steam to sync the save file before I can start it back up again. Come on, game, come on. Yeah, Black Flag looked great. It probably wouldn't look as great if we went back and played it right now. But yeah, the, the water effects looked very nice. Oh my gosh, it's not it's still not shutting down. Is is it really taking this long to sync with the cloud? Alright, I'm just gonna close it. Hopefully I'm not breaking any sync needed done with the game. Gosh, should we let the game continually run that long? According to according to Steam, I have 90 hours in this game. But according to the save file, we're only at like 68. I'm going to assume Steam is off. <laughs> but because that's a that's a lot of extra time just to have left the game running while not playing. Unless. Gosh, would they have done that for this game? D d <laughs> I need I need to go through my streams and tally it up cuz it's possible maybe the game uh only counts playtime when you're not in the menu. But that would still be a discrepancy of like 20 hours. <laughs> have we been in the menus for 20 hours? Oh, you haven't waited long enough. And see, this is another reason. Again, like if it if it was just as simple as restarting the game, maybe I would even have played with the ray tracing settings more. But it's having to do this like shader stuff every single time. 
that makes me not want to play around with the ray tracing very much. Oh, the game crashed. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. My computer might not want <laughs> to run it <laughs> with ray tracing on full. I guess we'll find out here. It crashed when we tried to load the game. Maybe we shouldn't have saved while inside the bathroom. <laughs> With a bunch of mirrors all over the place. Maybe we could try loading an autosave from before we stepped into the bathroom. Let's try this again. Bloody hell. <laughs> no, I hate this. Preparing shaders. <sighs> Prepare them shaders. Depending on your hardware, this may take a few minutes. Please wait for the process to complete. It, I want to say at least... It took at least a couple minutes to do this the very first time we started the game. I assumed that was going to be the only time we did it. Detroit Become Human had a really lengthy shader preparation at the start of its game, but that was the only time you had to do it. Unless there was like a patch that came out or something, or you changed your hardware, then I think you had to do it again. But shoot, how long is this taking? This is taking like 20 to 30 seconds. Dude, I, I, I think I can feel the game lagging before we even get in. Probably just from the graphics changing in this background. Don't crash. Don't crash. It's not crashed. And we're looking at one of the reflective surfaces I wanted to check. Um, well, so much for that, huh? That means they didn't apply ray tracing to these glass reflections. Look at that. It's just got the boring uh, 2D still image in the glass reflections. Hmm. What about the bathroom? Let's go check the bathroom. Okay, here you can you can see the ray tracing on this wood floor. This would be over polished to me. Who polished? Who polished this, huh? This is too polished. Like ray tracing makes it seem like somebody overwaxed this floor. But you can see how it's reflecting the entire world in it, in, including our character. Yeah, it's a noticeable frame rate drop. The water should theori theoretically have reflections, but I heard, I remembered people complaining that the water didn't get proper ray tracing treatment. It's hard to tell. It looks the same to me, honestly. Oh, yep, there we go. Look at how different the mirrors are. So they still have, like, the mirrors, like, smudgy. Maybe they figured this would... These are proper mirrors for the time of the game taking place. Smudgy mirrors. But, yeah. I mean, look at how much of a big difference that is. So it is... The mirror actually is reflecting the world right now, including me. It's just... It's just a blurry, smudgy reflection, that's all. Not enough for me to care, you know what I mean? 
If it ran completely smoothly, you know, maybe we would keep it on. But I'm even noticing some weird, like, halo effects. Um, halo effects are when, like, certain objects or models have, like, a kind of whitish outline. And I'm seeing that every once in a while. What happened to this kid? They vanished, and then they reappeared. Anyway, so that was a fun waste of time, just to see what it looked like, what the mirrors looked like. <laughs> uh, yep, so there they are. All right, let's turn it off and get back out of here. Oh, we're definitely not going to be playing the same one. That wouldn't make any sense. The, uh, the, the different houses have different quests. All right, we gotta turn it off. No, thank you. Even even if we could want to like experiment with ray tracing, like on you know something other than ultra, we could put it on medium or something. But now nah, we're just gonna turn it all off. I'd rather have the performance. Rather have the performance. Uh, as far as which house we're going to be playing, we're going to be playing Hufflepuff. So that time and time again, we're playing, we're playing a good character, Slytherin, and the next character is going to be an evil Hufflepuff. I find it to be rather appropriate. Nobody will ever suspect an evil Hufflepuff. Right? One more shader load. It's true. Well, no. I mean, depending on how you view it. I'm guessing, like, majority of the op... Well, I mean, I guess it depends on how you def define evil, right? There, Most of the responses are jerk... Just being a dick. A jerk response, right? But, I mean... You also have the situation where people have been like, Can you help me, please? Can you go retrieve this? And then when you get back, you can be like, either, no, actually, I've come to tell you that I did find it, but actually, I'm going to keep it. That's pretty mean, right? Evil? Maybe. And then the other option is, we can be like, we did find it, but we're not giving it to you unless you pay up. So there's two, like, dick options you can pick from while you're playing. And then obviously with the dark arts, I mean if you're if you're freely using dark arts against people, that's evil. Jerk student. That's probably what we'll call the playthrough when we do it. Cause I don't I don't know for sure the extent of how evil can you can be. You get you could say if the unforgivable curses are indeed unforgivable regardless of how you're using them and against who, then you are an evil wizard at that point, right? You're using curses that are unforgivable and by all accounts banned. Using them can land you in Azkaban, at least if, you know, there were actual repercussions. So yeah, I would say you could probably say that you're an evil wizard. Rebellion. All right, seriously, how do we get up there? Look, there's a balcony right here. That's a page that we need to get. There is a room right there. 
And I don't, for the life of me, know how to get in there. Now, it does look like... Wait a second, hold on. Maybe there's a locked room in here we didn't go through. Is there stairs in here that I missed? I don't see any Where's stairs. I don't see any stairs on the map, for that matter. But yeah, it's above us right here. So I guess, if you could say the Unforgivable Curses, regardless of who you use it on or against, it's forbidden by the Ministry. Using any of them can land you in Azkaban, and, and using any of them, basically, insta-murders or tortures the people or creatures that you're using it against. I don't know. I mean, Rebellion. a secret door. See, here, here's the thing. It's like, it's on a mid-floor. Right now, we're above it. If we go down these stairs, we can see here that this is where it is. Well, yeah, right here, look. So it's like in between floors here. I just don't know how to get to the bloody thing. Oh, Tay, Tyler. Oh, Tay. Hmm. Like, is there somewhere over here that leads down that direction, maybe? I don't know. This is gonna bug the hell out of me, though. Because we were, we've been trying to find how to get to this chest <laughs> for ages. For literally ages, man. Because when we were doing quests over in this area, I could not figure out how to get to it. Revelio. I can't even see it anymore. Okay, this is back on the mid floor. Where are they? Where is it? Where is it? Can I see it? Are we not up high enough? Rebellion. Oh, now we're way up here. There they are, right there. Is there secret door or secret stairs some up here eh wake up tell me how to get there don't look at me like that my mother is a howler after I got a paw on my transfiguration owl without a doubt one of the most embarrassing Cleo is in the bedroom I don't think she knows how to get to whatever I'm getting to. I mean, maybe she found a way to get to it. I have no idea. She would have to remember. Is Cleo listening to us right now? That's a good question. I imagine she's getting ready for bed, so she's probably brushing her teeth or something. Cleo, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Revelio. All right. MP was wondering if you could give us any hints on how to get to this chest. There's a collection chest and a fire cauldron right here that we can't get to. It's in the middle floor. You can see it from here, right here. There is a room right here with a chest inside of it. A fire cauldron that we can't light unless we're in that room. I can't for the life of me figure out how to get to this room. Like I said, it's in between stairs. And this is uh, a room that has eluded us for a very, very long time. Let's see. It makes me wonder. It's got to be, like, accessible from somewhere else. Like, maybe over here somewhere? Hmm, a frog. I mean, if there is a frog, we haven't been seeing it through the walls. Usually, you can you see the frogs through the walls? Hmm. Let me see if I can get an idea by looking at the map where we should Rebellion. be. So yeah, there it is right there. 
So the room is almost right below us where we currently are. Which makes me feel like it's in this wing. But of course we can't get a nice detailed view of the map or anything. All we know is that it's above us in this part of this building right here. <laughs> oh yeah, the frog. The frog teleportation. Yeah, they, they glow blue. Through the vaults. Any stairs in here? Any secret passageways in here? I'm looking at the mini map, trying to see if like I can spot like stairs or off the beaten path locations. Revelio. I mean, it's way up there. We're all the way on the ground floor right now. Even if there was a way to get up there by leaving the faculty area, I mean, it's almost like it might be where Gryffindor goes in, but that'd be insane. There's no way. Unless there's a quest that lets us into the Gryffindor area, because this is the Gryffindor entrance right here. Rebellion. It's totally what it seems like. Can't see it through there. Let me in. Let me in. I don't think there's any... There are elves in this game. They're not like elves from... From Tolkien, though. The elves in this game... Are very small. Tiny. Goblin-like creatures. Mm. Does this game not have dwarves? I mean, the goblins are dwarf-like. Um, there's... I don't know if this wizarding world, if the wizard, I don't know if there's dwarves in the wizarding world because Warwick Davis plays the music teacher. Is he, is that in, uh, in the Harry Potter series? And I don't know if it's, uh, like, was he a dwarf or was he just a magical little person? I don't know. Not really thought about it. Oni, is this uh, your channel restored, or is this your new channel? That's a good question. We could look. I'd have to look at it. Now I'm curious. Let's look at this channel. I'm still. I still stand by that. That channel of yours. You've been banned from Brazil? What does that mean? You, cannot, you can't watch my stream in Brazil? Can no Brazilians watch my stream? Is there something about the Wizarding World that Brazil banned it? Is that what it is? Nobody in Brazil can watch the Wizard. Can nobody in the... Can nobody in Brazil watch Hogwarts Legacy? Rebellion. I don't feel like I'm making progress. We're, we're going to the frickin... We might just have to look this up. This is going to drive me crazy. Yeah, look where we are. We're way far away now. Because it's back here in the south wing. You can't even use your channel? Oni, what did you do? <laughs> what did you do, Oni? Oni, what did you do? You explain yourself. You know what sucks is even if I tried to look this up, 
on figuring out where the heck this chest is located, probably the only answers for it would be on the Reddit. And the Reddit is currently closed. Terrible, Oni. Terrible. Ah, this is gonna drive me crazy. Alright, we're looking this up, because this is insane. Um, What would this be? This would be like the faculty location, wouldn't it? Okay, so this is apparently a secret room. I guess there's a fireplace that we need to enter. Let's see if we can figure out what they're talking about. Oni, what are you up to? What are you up to, Oni? I suppose I'd be curious about a beautification potion. So is there a fireplace somewhere around here? Maybe there's a... Is there a fireplace in... His room? Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I've just... I just never have bothered looking closely at this fireplace. It's like the one in the freaking library. Terrible, Oni. Terrible. Oni and I agreed that we were pro we weren't going to be playing for at least a month Diablo 4 and he literally bought it the day of release. Last that Oni and I talked, we were like, "Yeah, we're not going to play. Do you want to hold off on Diablo 4?" Oni was Oni actually brought the idea to me and said, "I don't know if I want to get it. I don't know if I want to play it right now." And then and then I said, that's fine. I mean, I've got other games I got to play. So if you want to wait, we can wait like a month or two. And Oni was like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. And then literally the day of Diablo 4's release, Oni messages me and says, hey, I've got it and I'm playing it now. And I was like, what? What do you mean? <sighs> More than a day early. true that makes but that makes no sense from what you you came to me and told me you wanted to wait you were making it seem like you were so hesitant on on wanting to play it terrible just terrible Oni Good for you. And then he didn't give me a heads up or anything. Hmm. I like all of these. This one might be my favorite though. I might start using this one. What were we using before? This one. And this one.
How do we feel about this one? Saber Ash Brown. I was at start. Irrelevant, Oni. Irrelevant! Where did we get this? Classic brown, saber ash brown. Did we just pick it up randomly somewhere? Right. You you gave him only gave me no inkling whatsoever that he was like anxious to play it or anything. If anything, you gave me the the idea that it was the complete opposite, that you were like hesitant to play it. Not I need to buy it day one because that's how badly I want to play it. I would have planned ahead. I would have planned to play it. Let's see here. For shame, Oni. For shame. <laughs> People change it. Yeah, that's fine. When did you change your opinion, Oni? You, you messaged me <laughs> at the release of the game. You have still not properly explained yourself. So how did you how did you suddenly change your mind? Was was it after playing the second beta? I mean, what? You didn't tell me. Let me know if that would change your mind. Don't tell me the day of release that you picked it up. Oh, Fanable, I got it, by the way. Here's my character in game. I'm so excited to play it. That's the message I received. He sent me screenshots of his character. Look at it. Oh, my character's so cool. I'm playing it right now, Fanable. Oh, it's so great. Yeah, see, the, that's when you should have told me. You should have been like, I think I'm thinking about getting it. <laughs> I'm getting pumped up from reading all these news. Didn't tell me anything. Nothing. For shame. Every, everybody shame Oni. We're at 147 out of 150. Three more. One demigod statue. Four collections chests. Alright, maybe we'll come back and look a little bit more. I do want to search this mid area. Because I feel like... Whose quest is this? Oh, we gotta return it. Return to your house. Yeah, let's go do that. Slytherin common room. I think Oni secretly wanted to get a head start in the game. Here we go. The last house token. Time to see what's inside. What is it? This combination is complicated. What do we get? Well, look at that. Thanks goes to the former headmistress, Eupraxia Mole. We got a, we got a robe, a cloak. Oh, look, it's shimmering. It actually has a shimmering effect on it. I look crazy, though. Reaper of Aces! Thank you for the subscription. Welcome. Welcome. I very much appreciate it. Just ignore Oni. He's supposed to be one of my bestest of friends. And he, he let me down. He let me down. 
I don't know how I feel about this cloak. It's, I think it's a little too fancy. It's a little too fancy. So what are you... Are you here to see how close I am to beating this game, Oni? And you're trying to find out if I'm going to play Diablo 4 after this? MP wants me to put up a vote. And the vote would be, do we immediately replay this game and we do an evil playthrough with an alternate character? Do we play Jedi Survivor? Or do we play Diablo 4? I'm assuming you would vote for Diablo 4, Oni, yeah? <laughs> but yes, again, welcome, Reaper. Happy Tuesday. Grab a seat, grab a drink. Oh, really? How different is it from this? I assume that the Ravenclaw cloak just looked the same but with the Ravenclaw symbol on the back. I mean, maybe the stripes could, would be blue? How different are they from one another? I don't know. Maybe we'll put up a vote. I'll be curious to see what people choose. Alright, we need to go talk to Natty. How are we doing on gear slots? 25 out of 40, and that's not bad. Wait, with the bird wing wrapped around the arms? I wonder why they didn't do that for the Slytherin. Like, it would make sense, like, the tail could be wrapped around the arms. So is the overall design completely different? In the different houses? Hmm. Uh, we could, but I don't, but that's the thing though. I, I, I would be totally down for that. I would actually be totally down for either replaying this in alternate days on Diablo with Oni or play Survivor in alternate days on Diablo with Oni. Oni, is that something you'd be able to do? That's my question, though. Is the game going to be end up becoming so enticing and addictive for Oni that he's not going to be able to wait in the in-between days? Hmm? All right. Well, Oni says it's okay, then. So maybe we'll do that after this playthrough. Maybe we'll do either a repeat of this game with an evil character, um, Jedi Survivor, and then no matter what, we'll start Diablo 4. Oh, wow. The Ravenclaw version of the cloak is so much better than the Slytherin one. I feel gypped. The Ravenclaw one is way cooler. It, look, it looks like a bloody phoenix. <laughs> Why does it look like a phoenix? You need to post this image in... Uh, in the chat, I feel like. Maybe I'll post it in the chat. Yeah, Slytherin got freaking robbed. Hold on a second. Oh, what happened to all my tabs? Oh my gosh, what happened?
Here, let me see. I'm gonna do it. Let's do it. Um... What is this cloak called? Where'd you find that image? I found it. Oh, why is it so tiny? Oh no, I can't look at the I can't look at the image. Why is it so difficult? <laughs> Why is it so difficult? Relic robes. Oh yeah, here we go. That was way easier. Whoa, people have recreated the relic robes for cosplay. You can buy the bloody robes online. <laughs> I mean, that's cool. Ravenclaw has the coolest relic robe. I li they are all unique. They're all pretty. They're all pretty unique. But the Ravenclaw one is definitely the best, for sure, in my opinion. Here we can just look at them. Just look at every single one of them. There you go. There it is. So yeah, I mean... I mean, Slytherin's not terrible. It's not terrible by any means. And I don't even know if this image is doing it justice, but look at the pat- look at the gold patterning on Ravenclaw's shoulders and then it has like i said it looks like a bloody phoenix it's supposed to be an eagle but they made it gold with long what look like flowing feathers coming down below it yeah like ravenclaw for sure has the best cloak of these of these lot let me take it probably doesn't help that i have my scarf on we'll remove that uh the slytherin shoulder I, it's probably my second favorite. It has a very cartoony... Um, it has a very cartoony... Collar, though. None of the other ones have, like, a crazy collar. Like that. I mean, look at it. I guess if you want to be evil. It's, very, it's a very over-the-top collar. It's got a neat, like, chain. Bringing together with the... With the with the uh the snakes and i like the design in the back the design on the the leather in the back is cool but yeah no for sure the uh the Ra raven claws is easily the best i'm jealous i'm jealous of raven claws i would i would probably actually wear raven claws if if we had if we were well if we were Ravenclaw, honestly I could role play wearing Ravenclaws anyway because I would just say it was a phoenix, and not Ravenclaw's house symbol, right? 
<laughs> oh man. Oh well. Is there any like cool outfits that would go well with this robe, I wonder? I don't know if I have any cool... I don't know if I have any cool green. That's one probably we've been running into. We've been not getting like a lot of really sweet outfits that are green. Out, Most of the green outfits we find are Slytherin or this <laughs> Lucky Leprechaun Ensemble. <laughs> Seriously, we we had, like don't have any other green outfits. What are the odds? Did they just really not put any green outfits in the game outside of the school uniforms what's up with that bring me down man bringing me down that kind of blends in okay but only because the robe has like teal throughout it too oh well sad day we just wear our pajamas. It just looks like we're wearing like a really fancy bathrobe. We got up in the morning. I like to imagine that would be something we would do. We would just get up in the morning and stay in our pajamas and wear our fancy, our fancy cloak. Do you see me, fellow Slytherins? I'm the best! Look at what I found! I found this in a chest sitting right next to our common room. What do you care? Loops. Look at me! I don't even think they're actually talking. They're just pretending to talk so they can ignore me. Bloody hell. I like our long johns. The long johns are the only uh, outfit you can wear that people comment on, I believe. If you if you walk around with your long johns on, people will comment on you being too casual or forgetting something. I don't think there's any other outfits in the game that uh that elicit commentary from the other students or teachers. There's a interesting little note. All right, let's get back to the game. We are farting around way too much. Way too much. I don't I don't think it would have made any difference if we had found that robe earlier in the game or not. It, it wouldn't have made a difference. I wouldn't have. I probably wouldn't have worn it earlier in the game. Even less likely earlier in the game. If it made sense with our character to wear like a big old fancy robe, then maybe. But as it stands, I'm still role playing. I, I'm I'm still you know under the impression that we're like a 17 year old. We're a 16 year old and we're a student. It's it's weird to be pretending that we're some grand wizard amongst all the other students. That's just me though. That's just me. I'm getting dizzy. All right, let's go find Natty. Let's go find Natty. Where is she? She's right nearby. Let's do it. We have been playing a whopping one hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour and a half if we weren't. I don't remember how long the intro was. And we are only just now getting to a quest. Nothing's as clever as playing with fire. Get out of here, peeves. Can we like grab that stuff out of his hands? That'd be funny. Or frost them. 
I'm surprised we didn't find him in the bathroom, because that was supposed to be, like, his hiding spot, right? He wasn't in there, though. Natty, how's it going? Some days are more difficult than others. Oh, shoot. Natty, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matty Belliland. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Bickle to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. I missed Oni saying he was going to bed. He said good night. It's freezing here. Apparently the it freezing was making him want to go to sleep. It needs to be freezing there though. Only his computer runs hot. He doesn't have AC in his computer room. So it's terrible during the summers where he is because it's so hot and his computer overheats. At least now when it's winter. His computer should run more proficiently. Okay, so yeah, Natty just turned out to be just a, a conversation again. That's two in a row now, so we still haven't come up with something to do. At least immediately. Should we just go immediately to... Because all I think all of our other side quests are outside of... Outside of town... Outside of Hogwarts. So yeah, Poppy's way down here. Okay, the Hippogriff one is down southeast. And then I think the Unicorn's down there too. Oh no, this is Hogsmeade. Yeah, let's go do Hogsmeade. Then we'll get around. Then we'll get around to Poppy. And this gives us an opportunity to go sell some stuff. Shoot, did we have stuff that we should have identified before we left? Probably. Let me over. I have a terrible curse where I can't refuse or do work. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Anything new? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I don't know if I have that or not. We have so many clothes now. It's hard to keep track of it all. Oh look. Sea foam nightwear, I new pajamas. Looks as if it was made for you. And these pajamas are more my cup of tea, instead of the long johns. <laughs> we should totally buy these. I'm gonna buy these sea foam nightwear. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Yeah, we had a few things we needed to identify.
I've heard that our dear Clementine drew you into her butterfly escapades. Unusual girl. Still, it takes all sorts. Dude, her butterfly escapades has netted us a whole bunch of gear that I have probably sold to you. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. You know he butters everybody up. He butters everybody up. All right, this person wants to talk to us about a unicorn or something. I beg your pardon, but... Is everything all right? Oh, bless you. Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that to help her but she seems to have gone into hiding out of fear i'd imagine i know you hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal how did you become so close with the unicorn it was luck truly i came across her when she was a little golden foal didn't even have a horn yet Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood to keep themselves alive. <gasps> and that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her entire herd. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. She, she's the first character I think I've seen that's actually wearing gloves in the wintertime. Other than, other than myself, of course. Speaking of winter gear, we never put our scarf back on. Catching a cold. All right, let's go find this unicorn. Is it the same den we actually captured our first unicorn? And second unicorn, possibly? Revelio. Let me on my broom! What's this? There's a random little meetup here that we've never noticed. Nobody here, though. Oh yeah, this is totally the... This is where we've captured every unicorn that we've got. 
this one location. Kitsy! Gonna run into a tree? Hazel must be here somewhere. You mean, like, right there? Is that Hazel? Revelio. Come on, Hazel. Stay still. Gosh, Hazel fell over. Is that her? Professor Did you get her? Never believe this. Nope. It was just another unicorn. It looked whiter than normal. We might drop it in our vivarium and Rebellion. see how it compares to my other unicorns. Alright, so that wasn't Hazel. So there is another unicorn running around somewhere. She might have been here, and we just scared her off when we landed so abruptly. Revelio. Well, I'm not seeing her. Oh, there she is. Did you see her? I saw her. Let's go sneak up on her. Oh, it's got her marked, I think. I'm assuming that's the white dot on the mini-map. Shoot, who's seeing me? There she is. Ah, oh, crap. I think the spider's behind me. Ah, oh, crap! Oh, no! No! Come back, Hazel! <laughs> Dang you, spiders! Oh, you bloody bastard. We had her! Where'd she go? Oh shoot! What did I just hit her with? Now, Crap! Now, <laughs> I'm only trying to help. Glacius. I think I tried to transform her. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Very snowy out right now. Hogsmeade, here I come. It's so dark. What time is it? It's eleven twenty five. Running in like a crazy person. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I'm basically telling her, if you pay me... I'll put her somewhere safe. If you don't, I'm going to actually give her to the poachers. <laughs> that's that's kind of leaning towards the side of evil, yeah? We're both fine. And I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You have a kind heart, you do. 
I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. Do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Take good care of Hazel now. Well, we got two... Two new unicorns. We could go ahead and just drop them all in the vivarium. I mean, that probably makes sense to do. What side quest do we have to do in Hogwarts? I think it said we had like... I think I saw that we had at least two. Well, if we're going to keep these other ones, we might go ahead and sell these unicorns. We do have Uriel in here. I'm guessing we cannot rename Hazel. We have a new male, and he looks like the exact same. In fact, Hazel doesn't even look any different. What is unique about Hazel? Oh no, she is. She is brighter. Look at that. She even looks slightly bigger than the other one we just brought in? No, I think it's just an illusion. But she is brighter than the others. We need more unicorns. You want me to just keep all these unicorns here? We're, we're going to have so many unicorn horns. Can someone exp Wait a minute. What is it that we're getting from them? It can't be their horns. That'd be ridiculous, right? Is it unicorn hair? Wait. Yeah, it's unicorn hair. It just looks like a horn in the image. <laughs> So much unicorn hair. Well, at least let's name the new male we brought home. Let's see. I need to remember to plug in my uh, Bluetooth keyboard when I'm done playing today. Because it's going to die. There is really not a lot of options for use when it comes to names. It's kind of fascinating. I'm gonna go with Urban, like Carl Urban. Uh, yeah, so every single unicorn that we have found out in the wild has been like a plain whitish gray. I guess they have kind of a gold sheen to them. The babies have all ended up being this yellowish gold color every single time without fail. Aww. It was adorable. Sleeping with their mama. Auric doesn't matter. They only want their mama. But, I mean, we have Hazel now, who's definitely whiter than the rest. She's bright. Alright, come get your ball, guys.
Come get it. Come get it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I knocked over the babies. <laughs> I was playing a little too rough. They're okay. It's all part of the game. <laughs> uh. They love it. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> it's insane that you can knock them over like that. Just knock them right on their asses. Ridiculous. Oh, I guess we could have started... Maybe we should... Uh, see what happens. What kind of offspring we can get from Hazel. Let's see. Let's do Ulrich. And Hazel? Or we could do Ulrich and... Or uh, Urban. So we just got Urban. Urban and Hazel. Make us a baby. Unfortunately, we can cheat. Look at this. It's going to be another bloody yellow one. Why? Did, what? I don't know. Maybe they turn white when they grow up. I don't even know if the babies can grow up. We're going to take the one random offspring, though. We've got too many of them running around here. I'll look after you. Yeah, I don't get it. I, I haven't seen a single baby grow to adulthood. I was kind of hoping that they would have at least, like, a couple different stages. Like, small to start off with, then, like, medium-sized at some point, and then adulthood. But so far, none of our babies have grown up. Not one. So I don't even know if they can. But it would be interesting if the... If the unicorns turn... White when they grow up. I mean, look, here's Helena... She's, she's still a tiny, a, a tiny, uh, hippogriff. Don't get it. I don't get it. All right, Phoenix, give me some of your precious feathers. Philippe. Philippe the Phoenix. Apparently haven't given you a brush yet. Revelio. Still haven't searched for more collections chests that are possibly in the area. We haven't looked in the new vivarium at all. And so it's... I'm guessing when there's some more to collect... Oh yeah, there's probably one up this way. We've never gone up this way. Revelio. Can I see the chest... Oh, there's one. I don't know if there's a, a certain number of collection chests in each vivarium. We've found, I think, two in this one. Yeah, because I think we found we found one down here in this in this area. Yep, there it is. It's open. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like from a gameplay design standpoint, three probably makes sense. Actually, now that I'm saying that, I think we did get three here. I think we just got the third. I think we found one somewhere somewhere over here we found one. Rebellion. 
can't see right now, but I think there is an empty chest over there. So I'm going to assume there's just three <laughs> for now, for the moment. Did we make a new baby while I was gone? We did not. We did not set anybody to breed. It definitely is. Uh, arc survival, though. <laughs> I'm trying to remember if the babies get noticeably bigger as they keep growing. I can't remember now that I say that. Arc survival does have breeding, and they do start off tiny. They start off super tiny. I think they, st I think they start growing noticeably bigger as they age. Hmm. Big things. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. He's always mentioned that. Okay, we do have two side quests here. What do we have? Oh, now that we've opened the house chest, we need to tell Nelly about it. Apparently, we should let her know that we've found a crazy robe and then we have portrait in a pickle a portrait in the back of the library is apparently very upset it might be worth looking into uh sure sure let's go do those you want to go talk to a portrait we'll talk to the girl about the fact that we found a robe Where'd you go? Oh, there she is. Why can't I highlight her? Whatever, we'll just go there. We'll find her, I'm sure. She's gotta be just sitting out here in the courtyard, right? There she is. Well, it took, <laughs> it took many months. Nelly, but we did it. We we did it. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of oh, the I should have been wearing it in front of my her. House chest. Oh, wonderful. What did you find? I found a rather interesting costume. Brilliant. Costume. Whew. Well, thank you for solving that mystery That's for me. That's it. She doesn't want to see it. I wondered what those keys would lead to. She doesn't even want to see it. <laughs> She was like, oh, a costume, you say? Okay, goodbye. <laughs> what? Uh, I wonder if you, were wear if you were wearing it while talking to her. Shoot, should we like reload just to see? I'm curious now. Let's see if she would say something different if we were actually wearing it in front of her. Because it would make sense, right? I found this robe that I'm wearing. It would make sense for her to say that, surely. She did not care at all. It It's almost like she forgot that she even tasked us with this. Alright, let's go see what she says if we're wearing it in front of her. Because you would think it would make sense that they would change the dialogue to be like, it's this cloak that I'm, I've got on right now, see? She? Look at it! That's not it. What? She's in a different place. She's over here now. <laughs> We're going to a completely different part of the school. Well, that's kind of cool. Because it makes sense that she'd move around every once in a while. So yeah, she's up here now, I guess. How'd she move around so fast? She's not here. Where is she? <laughs> is it because it's not morning? Oh my gosh. Hold on. Let's wait till morning. See if she's here. She's 
she there now? Let's see. She's not here. Where the hell is she? Is the game bugged? <laughs> and it thinks she's here? Okay, so we met her over here. Let's... Let's see if she's actually over there. What the heck? Oh shoot. This is, this is not the right place. She was over here, right? Oh, here we go. This is it. Maybe. Yeah, this is it. Let's see if she's over here. She is! That means the freaking game's bugged right now. Look at that. Because if we look at the map, it doesn't say she's here, even though she's here. Yeah, it thinks she's over here for some reason. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to her here. Were you able to follow one of the Dedalian keys? We we found all of them. Look at this sweet robe that we're wearing. Even though Ravenclaw has a way better one. Hello, Nelly. Actually, I found all of the keys and opened my house chest. Oh, Wonderful. Come on, say what it. What did you find? I found a rather interesting no! costume. No! Oh, well, thank you for solving that mystery for me. I always wondered what those keys would lead to. <laughs> so ridiculous. I found an interesting costume. Brilliant. Goodbye. What? Who wrote this? I'm wearing it right in front of you. Look at it. Look at me! Look at it shimmer! It's magical! I found a rather interesting costume! That's it? That's all we said to her? After all that? Ugh. What the hell? Alright. <laughs> Moving on. Let's go see what this portrait wants. Hey, she... She gave this to me. She tasked me with this. It's like she forgot. <laughs> and she just doesn't care anymore at this point. Ministry will hear about this. The fiends will rot in Azkaban. Is this the same dude that kept shushing me whenever we would talk to Moonwind, whatever his name is? Ferdinand Octavius Pratt. Never did pre select it. Let's find out what he wants. It's an outrage! No one makes a fool of Ferdinand Octavius Pratt! Sir, are you alright? You seem to be in some distress. Alright? Do I look alright? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here! I have more than one frame. So one of his Do frames have, have been kidnapped? Frame? It's my other frame. <laughs> it's been stolen. And by students, no less. They pay filthy fees to steal my other frame. Well, that's a crazy idea. Oh dear. That sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. 
There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I can afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose, and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken? Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvelous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Off you go, then. Who just said that about me? I want to meet them. I have a fan. Who said that? <laughs> I don't know. Was it you? Who said that? Oh, the ministry will hear about this. Was it you? Am I your second favorite hero? Who's your first favorite hero? I'm not encouraging you. Uh, I started growing it in my room of requirement, Tyler. Once I had, like, a few different potted mallow sweet plants, I, I had more than I could ever need. That's probably the easiest way. Like, I think we have a bunch now, and I haven't even collected any for quite a while. Yeah, we've got, I've got 373 mallow sweet leaves. We probably don't need any more at this point. Go create a garden, Tyler. One to three broomsticks. Okay. I already knew that. Why am I taking my time? What? I had an invisible wall there. Anything in route? I don't think so. We do have a vault. We got a number of vaults here that we should probably knock out. But let's let's stick to this quest for the moment. Actually, we're not going to stop anywhere on the way. Then let's just go straight there. Let's see. I mean, have you ever purchased seeds or otherwise? Not enough. <sighs> We just ended up buying it all. We bought everything. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil. And he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> He's pretty bad. 
But we're gonna be the nice person and say he's not that bad. Surely he can't be that terrible, can he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. <laughs> oh, for the love of Merlin. <laughs> if you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Indeed. So wait, she got detention because the portrait told Black that she was planning to drain the lake. And for that, she got detention? So just being told that you might do something bad warrants you a detention. Detention? What? When you just meet with her and be like, he told us that you were planning on doing something you shouldn't do. Don't do it. That's bad. If it, you do it, you'll be punished. You would think that would make sense. Uh, what? Oh man, is the ruins all the way down south? Southwest, or sorry, southeast. I think it is. That's a long trip. It's way down here. We don't even have any flu flames to use down here, but we'll at least grab one flu flame. <laughs> Honestly, I mean, even before this world, I've heard people say that. It's just a funny saying. You've never heard anybody say, oh, Merlin's beard. That was definitely a pre... That was definitely around before the wizarding world. No, Merlin is not a god. But he is a revered wizard. I mean, Merlin's been in in mythology for a very, very long time. Yeah, right, here we are. Speaking of if Merlin, I might as well knock this trial out over here. No feats. Now we got a feat. A feat for a dug bog. Oh, so there's a so there's a bloody dug bog nearby somewhere apparently. I should investigate. Should you? Should you investigate? Descender. 
Ringo. You're going to regret it. Bombarda. What do you have in store for me this time? Somebody say for the love of Berlin in this. I don't know if I heard that one. I hear I hear I've heard various other phrases too. But no. I mean, just because people say that. I mean, it's like saying... I mean, just because it's an expression and you don't hear people saying, oh my god, that often. It'd be like, you know, someone saying, for Pete's sake. Nobody nobody thinks there's a Pete that's a god or something, you know? It's just an expression. You know... Is that what she said? Did you say for the love of Merlin? Let's do this while we're here. Merlin. So, yeah. It's a fun idea having Merlin in this. That he was an actual... That he was a actual wizard. Can you talk to Merlin? Is he in any portraits that we can talk to? Lumos. I don't recall. It'd be fun to talk to Merlin, right? I don't know if there is a determination of like who can who we can and can't talk to, who gets a portrait and why and when and where. Maybe portraits are more of a recent thing? No, they can't be. Well, I don't know because like is there any portraits you can talk to or that are the founders of Hogwarts? We've got portraits from all of those different headmasters. that are the keepers in this game but i don't recall seeing any portraits we could talk to for like the uh the founders of the school where's the last bloody rebellion where's the last moths Revelio. 
Oh, there's a flu flame. Let's grab that real quick. Oh, nice to see you here. What is going on down here? Those are, are those dark wizards? They are dark wizards. What are they you up to? You made a mistake. I dream of making a better world for me. Well, there's some right there. Lumos. Okay, I saw two stairs going down. I'm assuming one is for a vault and one is for this quest. See, I don't know. That would be interesting though, right? If you could talk to the founders. It makes me wonder, I don't know if MP wants to look this up or not. Was the ability to have a spirit or the essence of a person stored in portraits is that something that was developed way later on beyond the founders and if in that case it would have been way beyond Merlin too I, I suppose okay, hold on is that just a shortcut because that would make sense. It would be kind of like the creation of spells, right? Only particular wizards and, and, and witches are able to create spells or have created Hello, spells. Oh, look. This one didn't skip. I wonder what's significant about this one. You know that or the mod didn't load correctly. Well, it's about time. Oh, there he is. I wonder there's anything left of me. Well, let's go ahead and talk to him. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down. Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me. Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear. I have a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Hmm. What if I don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? Oh, that what definitely was the evil do you one. Mean? Uh, oh my gosh. Here you go. <laughs> MP. I could burn you. Um, what if I took you to the hog's head instead? I've heard such nice things. Both of these are bad things. What a funny little joke. Now, the three broomsticks, please. Oh, they're bound to be missing me terribly. Uh, be sure so to carry crazy. me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. We had an option to threaten Where to, you put me? to burn him. In here. I shan't stand for this. I could burn you. I imagine he would probably say the same thing. Like, oh, what a funny joke. Haha. -ha. It's crazy. That kind of gives you an idea. We haven't really had a glimpse of the, the snide remarks because we usually don't pick them. It definitely changed the t changes the tone of his voice. The biggest problem with that, though, is that clearly the tone of the delivery for the snide remarks... Um is very different from your main character's normal performance. And most of the normal performances, you can't help but choose, right? It's just, it's part of the main story. It's the only optional dialogue you can do. But it's crazy that you can pick some of those remarks, right? It's absolutely insane. What if we don't want to return you to the three broomsticks? What if I just set you on fire here? What would that do to a portrait anyway? Because obviously he has other portraits. I would assume it would just annoy him, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe I would. But I don't know. If you burned every single one of their portraits, would it would it kill them? I don't know. 
That was simple. The chest was right at the entrance. What's the point of coming down through further into here now? Oh, another chest. All right, MP. Good night, good night, good night. We will see you later. I am curious to look up those portraits now, though. The information on it. Let's see. Mm, portraits were paintings made of certain individuals, namely witches and wizards. The subject of the magical portrait was sentient due to enchantments placed on the portrait by the painter. The portrait would be able to use some of the subject's favorite phrases and imitate their general demeanor based on how the subject appeared to the painter. However, they were limited to what they could say or do. A portrait could also move from portrait to portrait or else visit a portrait of them elsewhere in the world. So that's interesting. If anything, if this wiki is accurate, then that means that that kind of confirms what we've been wondering about portraits all along. That they're almost an essence of the person, but they are not actually the spirit of the person. They're just kind of like... They, they're kind of like an AI. They're just like... A, they're just a mimicry of the subject. Hmm... What's up, Foxy? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. Um, I'm not finding any dates on enchanted portraits, though. Like, I would assume that in the wizarding world who a painter maybe a magic painter would have had to have been the one who first came up with the method of uh making it happen and then obviously that eventually translated into photography as well but yeah i'm not seeing any dates it's not naming anybody in particular well I, this person's a namer okay it says bim oliver cartwright john home what if Pablo Picasso and Leonardo da Vinci were all expert painters? But then it says Magenta Comstock was an experimental painter whose subjects' eyes followed their viewers home. Is that just like a nice little tidbit? It has nothing to do? Unless they're implying Leonardo da Vinci and like Pablo Picasso and all of them are magic painters. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'll read the rest of this later because I am curious about it. But yeah, like I said, it doesn't seem to indicate... The creation. Anyway. Naps are good, Voxy. Naps are good. Let's grab these balloons while we're here. Definitely a lot of pickups to do down here, but don't want to spend too much time doing that just yet. It's a lot of flu flames we should be grabbing. Probably should have been making an effort to grab. Godric's Hollow. Are you deaf? There's a terrible draft in here coming straight up my pantaloons. How are we able to hear him? <laughs> so we, we apparently put him in our magic pocket. It's the only thing that's really been meta as far as his as far as your magical pockets go. 
He's talking to us from our magical pockets. All right, we're restoring his portrait. Now I'm curious to come back here and if, if we replay this, Let's see if we can listen to him. I have never heard him talk every time we've come in here. I must protest. This is no place for polite company. Not for the horrors you keep. Oh, finally, back on my wall and more angelic than ever. There you are. Welcome back. I'm not usually one to give thanks. There's a sort of servant drink to it. But I suppose some gratitude is in order. As a show of goodwill, I'll exclude whatever misdeeds I hear about you in my reports to the headmaster. And I do hear quite a bit. Now, be off with you. I can't be seen talking to a student. Go on then, go! It's all right, everyone. I'm back. Well, she's making a lot of <laughs> motions to look at it very oddly. She's not saying anything, though. She's not saying a single word. All right, where to? Where to? Let's see. What do we got? Still got poppies. Hippogriff marks the spot. That's still southwest, down southeast. Might hold off on that for the moment. Maybe let's go talk to Poppy, and then we can jump into La de Gox loyalty. Way down here. Although while I'm thinking about it, let's grab these vaults that are up here. What time is it? I don't want to stay on too late tonight. So I need to try to plan this accordingly. Let's grab these vaults over here to the to the west. I don't know. I'm I'm perplexed by the idea that that I don't know. I need to read about the portraits a little bit more because that doesn't make sense, does it? That basically the portraits are essentially just a magical enchantment where the painter imbues the portrait with with a sort of similar personality to the person, the subject. But then that doesn't make sense with, like, the Keepers. Unless the Keepers have an even more fanciful enchanted portraits. They're giving us full-on information. It's like the Keepers in their portraits have all of their memories as well. And maybe that's just how that works, too? But that's definitely more than what it seemed to be describing. Hmm. Yeah. Who's fighting up here? Who's fighting up here? Oh, I could fly over there. Might as well walk through the forbidden forest a little bit. Take out some guys. I haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. There's enough beast. Oh. Not to mention we need the feats. Feats are only good if I actually pay attention to what the feats are before I kill all the enemies. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, it will be. You'll have slightly all... You'll have slightly different dialogue with Gryffindor students. You will have slightly different dialogue with students that were previously in your same house. The common house is going to be different. Where you go to the common house and how you get there will be different. And then you'll have the unique quest from the house as well. More dark wizards. Alright, let's wait and see what the feat is before murdering them immediately. I raided Brockborough more times than I can count. Disarm them. Expelliarmus. Pay for your deed. Bombarda. Shortcut. We swing, having to swim around. Not the right clothes for this. I don't know. You've been going the right way. Bombarda. Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> was that this whole vault? I guess we'll find out if it's off the map now. Yep, that was it. And we got three more in this area to do. Knock these out and then head to Poppy. Oh, hi, guys. Can bring us. Potato, stupid one. Can bring us. I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. Never gonna get the feet done. Point. I mean. Oh shoot! Ow! Lumos. Another one underwater. The heck. Butterflies here. Guide me. Up for a bit of dying, are we? Get a ranger with stupefy. Ah. 
right next to us giant purple toad statue excellent excellent that's, that's definitely what we've been missing Confringo. There's one more over here. At least one. That's gotta be it. I don't see any others for the moment. Definitely got plenty up north. We even got two Merlin trials up north that we need to get around to at some point. Disrupt a poacher, Animagus' reducto cast with the pulso. Okay. Well, we need to get her attention. Stop right there! Come bring us! How did that feel? Not cool. Oh, watch the light go out of your eyes. You'll feel that tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> if you last that long. I won't go down as easy. Are you always this awful? Another underwater one. There's a bunch of them like this over here. Well, I mean, should we just teleport down near Poppy at this point? I think there were some vaults to do down here somewhere. But there's one in the water here. I'll put a pin in those. assume so, Foxy. You said that two streams ago that I was further than you. Hello. Nice Unless you've you changed again. your mind. You as well. What can I help you with? Haven't I already talked to you about all this stuff? Why are these options again? Now I don't know. What sort of products do you sell? 
I'll sell all manner of beast product. Fancied I could make a profession at. Yeah, we've heard this before. How long Why are these all refreshed? All of my life. My sister and I were raised here. I stuck around. Uh, she had... I hear there's a goblin mine near here. Have you ever seen it? I've been uh, near it, but never in it. I could likely find some valuable oh, yeah. beast products, but it's not worth the risk. Ranrock's loyalists are not ones to be messed with. Welcome back, honey do Honey Dowin? I can't ever remember. Is it Dewin or Dowin? Welcome back. Happy Tuesday. I mean, yeah. If you're at, if if you're still in the fall, then clearly I'm ahead of you. I would say that's very obvious. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? Nothing. Nothing at all. Just gonna sell you some of my junk. Enjoy. Glad you were able to stop by. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. It's summer, honey. Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? <laughs> We're talking about in-game. It's winter. It's winter in this game right now. And Tyler already beat the game. I guess it depends on how you define it, though, Tyler. Because he's still... He's still scraping up some stuff he's missed. This is where you wanted to meet, Poppy? It's freaking creepy out here. And, of course, friendly reminder! Have you guys hit that like button yet? Don't forget to hit that like button. Very much appreciated. Thank you, thank you. It's something that's a little, but goes a long way. Let's see what she's up to here. You made it. I did. I also slept here, in the middle of this swampy-looking place. At least we're out of the classroom. That's true. <laughs> I take it this means you had some luck at the library? It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. It seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. So we have all the seasons covered. It's summer for honey, fall for Foxy, winter for me, and spring for Tyler. Excellent. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor, or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. I wonder if you'd go blind from staring directly at a moonstone. I hope not. Hmm. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? More spiders. Revelio. The only thing that's different is that it's Poppy with us this time. It's 
Ah! Slice a dangling dug bog. They're angry. They're pissed off, Poppy. Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Hmm. What's this chest right here? Ah. And we've got a moth here. The question is, is which way do we need to go? So we can go the other direction first. Hmm. Lumos. Opening with this. I don't see anything in here. Yeah, what the heck did we just do? And it's closing right Rebellion. now, so. Huh. Depulsa. Is there something out here for this chest? Oh, yep. Yep, there it is. Okay. <laughs> Open. <laughs> Whoopers. Where are they going? Come back. Foipers. I beg your pardon? This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foipers song them all. is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. There's so many. If the Moonstone is here and so are Foopers, I wonder if it's being protected. You're going mad, Foxy. Did you eat some tainted beef? Don't go mad. Part of a puzzle. Why am I not surprised? First the Foopers and now this. Okay, Rebellion. See what we got. Got a chest in the left. What's the one we pulled? We need to find moths for those spinners. I mean, we could open this one first, I guess. No harm. Is there, is there something bad in one of these? I'm not seeing any creatures. Yeah, these ones just look empty. Perhaps the runes on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Thanks, Poppy. 
Thank you. All right, well, maybe there's doors. Akio. Or Revelio. there's moths in them. That works too. That is a long nap. At what point does a nap just become sleep? Lumos. Lumos. I'm riddle me this. I would say if we pull the, the four hour the mark rooms, definitely it I just becomes we'll find the moths. It just becomes sleep at that point. Rebellion. Another obstacle. No matter. I'm sure we can work out a way across. Can we take these moths? Lumos. Lumos. I love this cave. This ruin, these catacombs. There's a giant tree and a bunch of freaking birds. Akio. Rebellion. Lumos. Stay locked there. No, it's beautiful. What was she saying was beautiful? Is she talking about this? All the Maybe. Hello, Doug Boggs. I was hoping we wouldn't have to do this again. Let me What the hell was that? Some creature just screeched. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? You read my mind. This is like the worst possible thing you could do in the middle of winter. But it's magic. We probably can like insta dry ourselves, can't we? Definitely doesn't feel winter down here, does it? 
Seems like it's really warm down in Merlin, here. Merlin, it's even more beautiful close up. It's got to be here. I just know it. Rebellion. to see this many of them I don't know I've been listening to them for a while now and I'm starting to lose my mind <laughs> <laughs> very funny I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here assuming this is where the moonstone is which means we're one step ahead of them I'd be more worried about them pooping on me honestly Confringo. Rebellion. We found it. It's like staring directly at the moon. Is it? It looks like one of the balls we used to play with the. Uh... The moon calves. Well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the henge. Okay. Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing, too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the moonstone to the henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. Hopefully we didn't leave anything behind. That's the henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the henge. Hmm. I don't think Doran would knowingly send us into danger. You're right. I suppose I'm worrying over nothing. Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. Rebellion. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. I hope so. Gran understands how important it is to protect those who need it. <coughs> We can safely say we know where the moonstone goes. <laughs> Her face as soon as we put it in. Hey, moon calves. Yeah, I work. <laughs> <laughs> Making mushrooms grow everywhere. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same, though. 
I'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one, but two Moongarth dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on High Wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I... Well, the night I met High Wing, actually, I... Got... Hmm. I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted Mooncalves dancing below and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen. A good one. A sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see... The night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. Merlin? I don't know what to say, Poppy. I can't imagine what that must have been like for you. I never fitted in. But the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave. I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. What was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around. Always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere a child should ever grow up. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance? We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognized? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognized me. That's how they got to Gran. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the Moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. I'm gonna make the symbol now. Oh, she's doing it. Hmm. I feel like it would be better to fly up and look down at the symbol. If only we had a way to fly. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Why would we need to search around here at the moment? That sounds a fine idea, we'll but I would like to look around a little before we leave. Of course. I'll just wait here and try not to fall asleep. <laughs> Revelio. Is there anything like we're able to pick up? Why? Why would we need to continue looking around here? It's making me feel like there's something that we missed.
I don't see anything though. Other than some random mushrooms all over the place. Revelio. All right, we'll assume there is nothing. We'll head out. Let's go, puppy. Let's go. I suppose it is rather late, isn't it? We can head back to the castle if you've seen enough moon calves one day. Yes, please. I'm ready to leave if you are. Bye, Poppy. Lodgok's quest. We could knock this quest out, but it's getting late. Hmm. Decisions. 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 Yeah, let's go. Let's go to Lodgok's location. We'll do the other quest later. Come on, big boy. Almost ran into that owl. Control guarding the entrance of the mine. Bombarder, Confringo, slam a leaping loyalist and commander to the ground. Break a shield charm with ancient magic throw. Keep two enemies airborne for five seconds. Do the airborne one. We need to get a couple close together, though. Cut you from the moment. That was meant for me. Let me answer. You don't know who you're playing with. 
Commander, that's a commander. You won't stop me. Come on. Come on, buddy. What? You can't stop us. Why are you not attacking me? Oh my gosh. I got it. What the heck, guys? Come on, come on, come on, come on, do it again. Somebody's on fire. Rebellion. No, no, there's just random guy stuck over here. Uh. He's just spinning in circles. I've been fighting since before oh, you were You've one less follower, Ranrock. Revelio. something up here? Why am I climbing this? There's nothing up here. There's some right here. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu power. This mine could be hiding a secret. Ranrock and his rebellion. Each 
chest right here. No sign of Lodgok out here. He must be inside already. Look at the size of this mine. Lord Gork, where are you? Something seems wrong. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Who's there? Catch and throw a disarmed weapon. Revelio. Oh, nice. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. What does it mean to be in the driver's seat? We're on track. Seems wrong. How deep will this take? Red Rock's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? Go! Oh, nice. Oh, you can pull out that with that. Be the end of the mod. Oh, it's ended. Never mind. That was short lived. Rebellion! Rebellion. Loyalist assassin. Arrest on the What? Where'd you come from? Wingardium Leviosa. Look at all these pickaxes. Alohomora.
Revelio. Bombarda. Revelio. Troll right below us as well. That's not the foe, I don't think, though. What? Is this the Wigan Weld? Yes. Ah, that drives me crazy. We're gonna forever see that through the wall, unless we need a potion. Who are they talking to? Grodpick. Will Grodpick actually put up a fight? Because we have, keep coming across infamous foes that die in like one hit. Red barrel bombarda. Okay, so we don't need to. Come on. How did that not hit it? Gosh. This is the other one we need to do is troll with its own boulder. Okay. Are there any other red barrels? There's one. I oh, got it. <laughs> uh, hello. All right, hit a troll with its own boulders. I gotta wait till he throws. Expelliarmus. Oh, crap. Throw another boulder at me. Ow. Do it. Wake up. Maybe we need to kill the other guys first. Alright. He's not super weak. Never mind. <laughs> He's pretty. He was pretty weak. Yeah. 
Wrong thing. Ah. Ah. Enough. The rest of the Hey Gandalf, welcome, welcome, happy Monday, how goes it? Sorry if I didn't immediately reply, I was in the thick of things. The troll is nasty. But I kind of feel like if you're going to have an infamous foe, which we fought amongst that group, probably... I mean, why not make them harder than, like, the meanest foe amongst them? The troller... The troll was more of a foe than the infamous foe that we fought. Rebellion. It's kind of an issue. Hmm. This might have just been for that fighting the foe. I don't think we can move on from here. Got a collections chest in, up above us. I bet. I bet. I don't know. I mean, I've, almost every infamous foe that we fought, we've been able to, like, kill. They're just... Ordinary spells in like one or two hits. I have not, uh, I'm not doing any dark arts in this playthrough. I'll be saving that for my next playthrough. Rebellion. How do we get that? Right here. Rate the houses? I don't know if I know anything about the houses to rate. If you mean in the game, this is the only time I've played. This is my first playthrough. So this is the only house I've actually played. Which is uh, Slytherin. In which case, Slytherin number one. I know nothing about any of the others. Okay then. Rebellion. That was a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Um, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six. Almost thirty-seven. Akio. Crushed our feet. Rebellion. Oh. 
Mm, yeah, I'm in. I'm indifferent. However, however it goes. This is how I play all RPGs, though. I play a few side quests, do a few side activities, then I get around to doing a main quest. And then when I'm done doing a main quest or two, I do some more side activities, some more side quests. I like the ending... I like the ending of games to be the actual ending, so... I want to have... Uh, most of everything else completed by the time I actually get to the ending. So it feels like an actual ending. What am I doing? Slam a leaping loyalist into the ground, disarm an enemy. Okay. Okay, what, what commanders do we got? Is that a commander? That's a set of Are you a commander? Where's the commander? Do I even have a commander? Did I accidentally kill the commander? <laughs> There's no commander here. Oh, I must have killed him by accident. Oh wait, do we have a commander now somewhere? Maybe. That's a warrior. You need a commander. Arrest on the left. You always had a lucky start. Expelliarmus. There he is. Alright, get up. Your blood's on Ranrock's hands. Revelio. How many total feats do we need to complete? Because this next challenge is 42. Which seems like a strange number. Unless it's purposefully referencing Hitchhiker's Guide. Revelio. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. Maybe you can tell me about that. That doesn't really matter, knowing how many total feats we need to do. I'm assuming if this is not the final challenge for the feats. There's probably one more. Steal a loyalist ranger's crossbow bolt. Use a mandrake against an enemy. Oh my gosh, 
so we're not in a good place. And there he is. Come on, shoot us. Do it. Do it. Do it faster. Ow. Stupid ranger. Oh, now he's shooting at me. Wrong guy. Ow. Come on, do it, Ranger, do it. Nothing. Forty-two is the last one. Okay. We've been doing a lot more feats than I thought then. Oh yeah, I guess I could have just looked myself and I would have found that out. It is the last one. So we only have seven more dueling feats to do. Unless there's a broader number beyond the challenges for an achievement. I mean, I guess that's possible. There's some things that have been that way beyond the challenges. Rebellion. Hmm. Can we get out of here without dying? <laughs> I have to find a way to stop that trap. Like, I kind of want to be up here <laughs> before we hit this last one. I feel like we're dooming ourselves. Rebellion. Bombarda. You. Hey, Ranrock. That is unfortunate. No matter. We'll build another. I found this one lurking outside. Lord Gok, come to make amends, little brother. I came to stop this. What is this you've brought me? Is that the conclusion? Maybe he just found it. <laughs> Don't! Are you alright? I'll never understand you, Lord Gok. So, cut up. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, searching in vain for Bragbore's last journal. Wasted my time mm. chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now, I don't need you. I don't need any of you! I was bringing it to you. You are a traitor to our kind! No! 
Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. Poor Lord God. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Now to get out of this blasted place. Revelio. That was a cool sequence. Everything's kind of coming to fruition with what we theorized. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. <sighs> Rookwood, and, Rookwood and Ranrock turned on each other. Lodgok died. To be expected, but it was a pretty sweet sequence. I mean, where was he the whole time, Lodgog? We came to the entrance, we went through it. Maybe he should have found a better meeting place for us. <laughs> Maybe. All right, we're going to call it there. We're going to call it there. We will be back tomorrow to continue Hogwarts Legacy. Got more side things to do, I'm, I'm assuming. We should probably start exploring down here. Um, we haven't really explored any of this south, this uh, southeastern area at all. We've just been coming over here basically as quests have sent us there. We haven't gone, the, gone here for any other reason. And now that we're starting to get some side quests down here, maybe it's time to actually do some exploring. So, I don't know, we might jump into that tomorrow but for now we will be ending it right there uh thank you for tuning in guys thank you for watching it's been fun as always and of course don't forget to hit that like button if you have not yet already feel free to subscribe subscribe if you want to be notified of future streams and if you are watching this at a later time thank you for taking the time to do so until tomorrow everybody sleep well be well try to stay chill stay relaxed and I will see you then. Good night and goodbye.